Welcome everyone. This is Online Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo, and today we have a challenge on log reading. A simple one at that. The question reads log y to the power of 1 all over 2 base 2 equal to log 125 base 5. Y will be equal to what? Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video, a wonderful video, unsolved video, like the one you're about to watch right now. Without much waste of time, sit back as we dive into today's challenge. Let's take our solution. So from here we have solution. So we take our solution. We put down our equation, which reads log y to the power of 1 all over 2 base 2 equal to log 125 base 5. Good. Now, looking at this equation, the base on this left-hand side is different from that on the right-hand side. So, let's treat these uh, two parts separately according to their base numbers. Let's take the right-hand side of the equation first. So, this will give us here log your y to the power of half the base 2 equal to log this 125 can also be written as 5 to the power of 3 the base 5. Why bringing this is because here we have 5. So we now think of a number we can put in place of this 125 raised it to a particular number to give us 125 and that number is so 5 times 5 will give us 25 times another 5 will give us 125. So these and these are the same. Now from here, according to the uh, law of logarithm, which says that if you have log m to the power of k base a, said move this power back. So if we move this power here back, we're going to have this to be our k log your m base a. So if we apply that here, this, this will come back here. So we now have this to be log y to the power of half base 2 equal to 3 log of 5 base 5. Again, there's another law which says that if you have log your s base x, this is equal to 1. Provided s is not equal to 0. So if we succumb to this again, this is log 5 base 5. Every tier will give us 1. And so we're going to have this to be log your y to the power of half base 2 equal to your 3 multiplied by 1. Okay, let's proceed on this other side again. Here we are not having 1. According to that rule, again, this, this one we have here now, okay? We can bring in log 2, base 2, to take the place of this one. So we cannot have this to be our log your y to the power of 1 all over 2, base 2, equal to your 3, the times log your 2, base 2. I just did that because... Here we are having base 2. So let's introduce base 2 to take place of this one, log itself. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have this. From here, let's take this guy back here. Okay, so if we move it here, we're now going to have this to be log y to the power of 2. Okay, base 2 equal to, you have your log, log 2 to the power of 3 the base 2. So we succeeded in moving this 3 up here now, which is this. Alright, now we are having log base 2, log base 2. So what happened here? So long the bases are the same, so we now have here y to the power of 2 equal to 2 to the power of 3. And what is 2 to the power of 3? 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 8. Okay, from here we are looking for y. So we take the square of both sides. So now have your y to the power of r to the power of 2 equal to your 8 r to the power of 2. Again, this 
two here, this two will go with this two here. If we open up the bracket, okay, so here we're now left with y equal to 8 to the power of 2 is 8 times 8, which is 64. Okay, so our y is therefore 64. QED. Okay, QED. This is a very a simple and short um, a logarithm equation or logarithm challenge. But if you have learned something good from this simple challenge, drop it in the comment section. You can say, thanks, Jay, for what you're doing. Okay? We know you've encouraged us in the time past and we know you will not face to encourage us even now and in time to call. We are proud of you. Thanks for always being there. Remember, this is All I Must TV and my name is Jake's Anemo and I love you so much and all of us at All I Must TV love you so much. Why? Because you are always there. Bye for now. Till I come your way again.